I think the first time I wrote Shift from Drift, it was about not just groping in the darkness, right? This was before social well, media was as, as, yeah, this was before social media was as prevalent as it is now, but this was more of the, let's just think about this. There are a lot of people in our life, well-meaning people in our lives who will tell us, ah, that's a crazy idea. That, that, that there you're chasing, Debbie, you need to stop that and get back to this. This is the way to go. You and should have kids and settle down. Absolutely. Right. <laughs> or you're made for this. And listen, we should always have wise counsel around us and consider it. But, you know, the first thing I would say is God gives a person a vision. He doesn't give it to a committee, you and a committee. He gives it to you. Right. And so you need to, to think about that, work on that and do all of the things I mentioned before. Right. And turning it, turning into plan. But the second thing is in today's world, the drift is easily created because we are bombarded with images of success. So maybe you should be social media influencer. No, you should do this. You should show products and, and, you know, dress up in products and walk down the aisle and this, that, and that. Unfortunately, because what is posted is typically highlight reels, not the work behind it, nor the failures in the valleys. It's all highlight reels, right? Do this, do this, do this, and you'll make it. This is how I made it. And so what it can do is just cause a person to continue to just move around chasing something, right? That quote unquote is successful versus what they've been given to do.